I'm Emily Hunt and I'm delighted to share with you my book, 15 Minutes STEM. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the book and give you some tips for using it. So the idea for the book came about when I was a science subject leader in a primary school in Bristol. I really wanted to organise a STEM week and I took to the internet to look for activities and resources and I just couldn't really find any. And that really surprised me because for me, STEM education is such a brilliant way to bring learning to life and give it a real world purpose. And where I did find resources, they were often quite time consuming, they involved resources that I knew that I didn't have, or they just didn't really explain the learning very well. And that's why I decided to create 15 Minute STEM. As a teacher myself, I believe that education is all about preparing children for their future. And of course, we don't know exactly what the future will hold, but we do know that STEM skills will play a really massive part in it. Now, we've all had children ask, what's the point when they're given a task to do? Sometimes that can be taken as an unwillingness to learn, but actually it's a really valid question. And it's a question that every child is entitled to ask and to get an answer for. And I think that STEM education is such a great way of showing children what the point is and what they're doing. It gives it a real world context and it shows them how their learning is relevant to their future. As the title says, each activity takes just 15 minutes. When you look inside, each activity has a question that a child might ask themselves, like why are igloos built in a dome shape? Or how have engineers been inspired by nature? It then tells you everything that you need and how to do it. Now these instructions are on the lighter side and I would encourage you to be hands off with your child, allowing them to explore the learning themselves and using these instructions for guidance if needed. It also tells you what you're learning and provides an investigate box as a further challenge for older children or children that want to take the activity a little bit further. So each activity is linked to conceptually similar STEM careers like architect or civil engineer and if you turn to the back of the book you can find out more about them in child-friendly language in the glossary. 15 minute STEM is designed for both teachers and parents. Now, as a teacher myself, I know how packed the school timetable can be. It's hard to fit extra things in, but the beauty of 15 Minute STEM is that it can be slotted into those spare moments in your day. The activities could stand alone or they could link to your curriculum. It's up to you. If you're a parent, this book is a really fun way of encouraging your child's natural curiosity. And what's more, you can resource it with activities that you probably already have around your house. I hope you enjoyed the book. And please do share photographs of the activities that you've completed using the hashtag 15 minutes STEM.